katara kasunda darakate jele kondi baru katara kasende dedekete pa da 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 parekete kete para katara kate i para katara kasokoro ukunda darakata tabra kate zinde kopra katata tara kasunde dedekete yare makondi shakato baru katata darakate lego jikata baru katata tande yegede kata baru kata lego shikata Paru kendu bazuka di le kopakata le koparu katata derekete shakato prokoto parakata rendo shikata rendo bazu zerikata aparunde ya kado baru katata rakata thank you Jesus thank you heavenly Father Father we give you all the praise we give you all the glory we give you all the honor thank you lord for your everlasting love we give you praise we give you all honor we give you all adoration in the name of jesus blessed be the name of the lord hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah God bless you the lord will perfect all that concerns you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. How is everyone doing? Praise God. Apostle Paul says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse number 12, he says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Hallelujah. In high places. So there is a hierarchy of spiritual wickedness. And this spiritual entities they operate in realms in the spirit realms glory to god and so if you if you read new living translation it says for we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies but against evil rulers and the authorities of the unseen world against mighty powers in this dark world and against evil spirits in the heavenly places glory to god so you don't fight a spiritual ignorance to think that what the powers you're contending with are blood and flesh flesh and blood enemies it's not a physical human being. Glory to God. It's more than that. It's not flesh and blood enemies. They are, they are principalities. They are powers. They are spiritual forces in heavenly realms, in spirit realms. Glory to God. These who are not flesh and blood enemies, Their powers. They are demons over whom the devil has control. The spiritual realm is not fantasy. Life is spiritual. Glory to God. If God opens your eyes, you will see into the spirit realm. And God will open your eyes to see the powers that we're contending with. So when you're being attacked, when someone is actually on your case, it's not that person. Because it's not flesh and blood enemy that we're contending with. Something has already taken possession of that person, that man, that woman. That is a demon controlled by Satan, controlled by devil himself. And there are hierarchies. If you if you go to scripture, I believe Revelation chapter in the book of Revelation, you will talk, they will, it's talking about heavens, first heaven, second heaven, and third heaven. 
Glory to God. And there are demons that operate in the first heaven. The first heaven is the atmosphere, the world we live in, the physical realm where we live in. There are power demons parading that occupy the first heaven. And then you talk about the second heaven, glory to God, where a class of demons called principalities operate. Glory to God. Of course, the third heaven is where God himself lives. Heaven. Glory to God. And so principalities are a class of demons that occupy the second heaven. And Bible talked about it in Daniel chapter 10. Principalities um, occupy territories. There are principalities that occupy particular domains, particular nations or countries. Glory to God that contend with the power of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so it is important for us to know that as believers, we face a powerful army whose goal is to defeat the people of God, the church. Glory to God. And so we shouldn't be ignorant. When we believe in Christ, these beings, these demonic beings become our enemies automatically. And they try every device to turn us away from God and back to sin, back to the power of darkness. Glory to God. But don't worry. We are assured of victory. But we must also engage in the fight. We must engage in the struggle until Christ returns. Because Satan and his cohorts is constantly battling against all those who are on the Lord's side. Glory to God. We need supernatural power to defeat him to defeat Satan. And God has provided this by giving us the Holy Spirit within us and his armor. That's what Paul called the armor of God. When you talk about the armor of God, you talk about the breastplate of righteousness. You talk about the helmet of salvation. You talk about the shield of faith, taking on the shield of faith. And you talk about lifting the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So we are equipped. Glory to God. So if you feel discouraged, remember Jesus, the word of Jesus to Peter. He says, upon this rock, I will build my church and all the powers of hell will not conquer it. Glory to will not prevail. So we are the church. It's not a building. It says the gate of hell will not prevail over the church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. Glory to God. So there is a hierarchy in the realm of the spirit, in the heavenly realms of these demons. Glory to God. And so, but I will talk to you about how not to give up. There is someone that is fighting the battle behind the scene. Glory to God. If God should open our eyes to see the battle, that is being fought on our behalf in the realm of the spirit, you will be, it's mind-blowing. Glory to God. You will know that there are powers fighting your case, fighting your battle. Glory to God. Daniel was a man of prayer. I'll read to you Daniel chapter 10. Daniel chapter 10. I love the book of Daniel. Glory to God. If you read Daniel chapter 10, it's a powerful account of an encounter that this man had 
when he engaged in praying and fasting for the people, for his people. Glory to God. I'll begin to pinpoint Daniel chapter 10, verse 12. Glory to God. He says, then he said to me, do not fear, Daniel, for whom, from whom, glory to God, for from whom, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words, your words were heard and have come because of your words. Glory to God. And so when you read the whole of chapter 10 of Daniel, the book of Daniel, glory to God. It is a significant chapter, glory to God, in the book of Daniel. But I encourage you to study the book of Daniel from chapter 1. But chapter 10 particularly is a significant account that provides us an insight into the spiritual realm, the heavenly realm, and its influence on earthly events. Remember that the spirit realm, the spirit controls the physical. Before anything happens to you in the physical, it has already first orchestrated, been orchestrated in the spirit realm. Glory to God. And so, but what happens, what manifests in the physical had already occurred in the spirit realm. Glory to God. So the spirit realm controls the physical. Hallelujah. And so this account, Daniel had a powerful vision. Glory to God. Daniel's vision gives us further insight into the greater spiritual battle between God's people and those who wants to destroy us. Who, those who contend with the grace, with the power of God. Hallelujah. And so, a little preamble. Prior to this vision, prior to this vision, it says that Cyrus had allowed the Jews, the Jews, remember they were in exile, and so prior to this vision, Cyrus had allowed the Jews to return to Jerusalem. Daniel stayed back in Babylon. Glory to God. The Bible didn't tell, tell us why Daniel didn't return to Jerusalem with the people of God. Glory to God. Speculations may be that he may have been too old to make the long hazardous journey because he was of age. Glory to God. And remember, he, he occupied a very powerful government position while the people of God were in exile. So it could be his government duties that could have prevented him from leaving Babylon. Glory to God. Or peradventure, God may have told him to stay behind to complete the work he was called to do. He was a man of prayer. Daniel was an intercessor. Glory to God. Whatever the reason it is, whatever reason it is, the point is he stayed behind to keep interceding for his people. Hallelujah. And it was during this, his praying and fasting period that he had this powerful vision. Bible says Daniel refrained from eating certain foods and using lotions because he was mourning. And these were signs of feasting and rejoicing back in the day. But he refrained from eating certain foods. He engaged heaven. He was interceding. Glory to God. Daniel had discipline. He has discipline. He disciplined himself. He's, he abstained from certain foods. He wouldn't even shower, let alone putting on lotions or fragrances. Glory to God. Remember, Daniel's people had just returned to Jerusalem from exile. So this vision revealed trials and tribulations in the years to come. 
for the people of God. Glory to God. The Bible talked about how he saw a man. The man seen by Daniel was a heavenly being. Some say he was an angel. Why some Bible commentators believe that this man was an appearance of Christ. However, Daniel caught a glimpse of the ongoing battle between good and evil natural powers. My dear friends, there are realms. There are realms. This physical, the, the world will is more than this physical realm. We have the spiritual realm. Life is spiritual. Glory to God. And because life is spiritual, Paul says, like we started with in Ephesians 6 12, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Your enemy is not the human being you're seeing. Your enemy is not that man in your office. The enemy is not that man in your family or in your church community. He says, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places, in the heavenly realms. In other words, glory to God. Bible says, if you go to verse 10, back to Daniel 10, if you go to verse 10 through 19 of Daniel chapter 10, that Daniel was afraid. Daniel was frightened by this vision. But the messenger reassured him. Glory to God. Bible says Daniel lost his speech. But the messenger's touch restored his strength, restored, re restored his ability to speak. He says, Daniel felt weakness. Daniel felt helpless. But the messenger's word strengthened him. Sometimes when we're facing a battle, especially in warfare, we can get tired physically spiritually tired glory to god and you feel like giving up but it says because god loves us so much all of a sudden you see your step strength restored your ability restored and then you begin to fight glory to god that is the loving kindness of our god he cares deeply for us Hallelujah. God can bring us healing when we are hurting. Glory to God. God can bring us healing when we're hurt. God can grant us peace when we are troubled. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding. God can grant us strength even when we're weary, when we are weak, both spiritually, both physically, emotionally. God can grant us or restore our strength to keep fighting. Glory to God. And so when you are experiencing pain, anguish, depression, anxiety, exhaustion, when you are weary, ask God for a fresh touch of his tender love. Glory to God. He loves us. He cares for us. Glory to God. And so when you read, the, go back to when we read Daniel 10 from verse 12 to 13. Even though God sent a messenger to Daniel, this powerful spiritual being. He says that the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia detained the messenger. For three weeks. So imagine when you God give you an assignment, a fasting assignment, you know, to pray and fast for whatever reason. God speaks to us in different ways. God gives us assignment. Glory to God. If you walk closely with the Holy Spirit, there are times you will be instructed to engage in praying and fasting. And when these things happen, 
God's peradventure will not even tell you for how long. Glory to God. And so this man was engaging in praying and fasting, interceding, interceding for the people of God, for his people. These are hopeless people. These are people that are just returning back from exile. Glory to God. And Daniel engaged heaven. Daniel was praying and fasting. Glory to God. For a whole three weeks, even though God had him the first day, a power, spiritual being, Glory to God. The Bible calls it the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia as a principality which heard his prayers, detained a messenger of a messenger sent to deliver his answer, to deliver the answer to his prayers. Glory to God. But you know the beautiful thing, Daniel did not stop praying. He did not, he continued praying. He persisted. He continued interceding. Glory to God. For three good weeks, the answers to his prayers were detained by this powerful territorial being, the Prince of Persia. Hallelujah. Daniel faithfully continued praying and fasting. Eventually, God's messenger arrived, assisted by Michael the archangel. There was a fight in the realm of the spirit. There was a contention. Glory to God. And so sometimes answers to our prayers may be hindered by unseen obstacles. And not necessarily because of what you did or did not do. Not necessarily because of your sin. Not necessarily that God did not, has not heard, heard you. There might just be powers contending with answers to your prayer. The div divine manifestations to your prayers. So our job is to keep praying. Don't give up. Keep praying faithfully. Keep trusting God. Glory to God. You might be asking God for a particular, or praying to God and believing and trusting for a particular thing. And there might just be powers contending in the spirit realm. Don't give up. Keep faith and don't stop praying. The problem is that most of us expect answers to our prayers immediately. Don't expect God's answer to come too easily or too quickly. There might be demonic delays. And so what do you do? We keep praying, keep pushing until something happens. Until there is manifestation in the physical of what you're praying for, what you're believing God for. Prayers, the truth is that may be challenged by evil forces. That's why Jesus, the Lord Jesus himself taught us to pray fervently and earnestly. If you read Luke chapter 18, 1 to 8, Jesus taught about prayer, the need for consistent prayer life, the need for fervent and earnest prayer. Glory to God. You look and wait for God to answer at the right time. Delay is not denial. Delay is not denial. Even though your prayers may be delayed, you would definitely get an answer. Because God is not a man that he would lie. What he says he will do, he will do. He's a covenant keeper. He's the God of the universe. Glory to God. Chapter 20 to 21 
of Daniel 10. Bible says the heavenly warfare was to be directed against Persia and then the Greece nation. Each of these nations was to have power over God's people. Glory to God. Both Persia and uh, Greece were represented by evil spirit princes or demons, principalities. Glory to God. There are principalities, territorial demons that hovers or governs a particular territory, that governs even cities, that governs nations. Glory to God. There are principalities that governs the nation of America or the nation of Nigeria or even Houston, Texas. Glory to God. They are special kind of demons that governs the spirit realm of what goes on in their territory. I call them territorial spirits. They are called their principalities. They majorly operate in the second heaven. Glory to God. Many nations, cities, countries have been assigned principalities, have principality assigned to them, and they control these territories. Persia was one of, the, the prince of Persia was a principality assigned against the kingdom of Persia. And so this is the principality that was contending with the prayers of Daniel. You might be praying in the nations where you are. You got to deal or tackle that principality that demands their affairs in that territory where you live. Glory to God. But you know what? God is the God of the universe. God controls the universe. He controls the past. He controls the present. He controls the future. And he has all events record, recorded in his book of truth. He is the ancient of days. He is the I am that I am. Glory to God. Daniel. Daniel. A powerful man of God. Daniel was praying and fasting for three weeks. Seeking understanding of a vision concerning the future of his people. Glory to God. He had a vision of a heavenly being. That vision occurred in the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia. Daniel was by the river of Tigris. Bible says the appearance. Daniel sees a man dressed in linen with a belt of gold whose body gleams like topaz, face like lightning, eyes like flaming torches, magnificent being. Bible says arms and legs like polished bronze and voice like the sound of a multitude. You can imagine, I can imagine in my head what that vision seem, will seem like. Glory to God. So Daniel was filled with terror. He was overwhelmed with terror and flee. Daniel himself is left alone, weak and fearful. Glory to God. It was a powerful encounter. 
Bible says he was threatened. He was threatened regardless. A hand touches Daniel, setting him on his hands and knees, and then on his feet. Now this magnificent being reassures Daniel, calling him highly esteemed and encouraging him to understand the vision. And then the interpretation, the response was given. The heavenly messenger explains that Daniel's prayer were heard from the first day he set his heart to gain understanding and to humble himself before God. You see, God does not lose any battle. We just got to humble ourselves and trust him in the place of prayer. Glory to God. And so this heavenly being now began to explain to Daniel what was going on. Glory to God. He told Daniel that from the first day, he started praying that his voice was heard. God had already delivered an answer to his prayers, but a particular force detained the angel that was bringing answers to his prayers. Glory to God. Daniel's prayers were heard from the first day he set his heart to gain understand, to pray. From the first day he started praying, God had already granted his request. Glory to God. And this man was content in praying, persisting. He has not received an answer in the physical but he did not stop praying. Bible says the prince of Persian kingdom resisted the messenger for 21 days until there was a heavenly intervention, until God sent an archangel, Michael, one of the chief princes, to help the messenger angel. Glory to God. There's, this is a mystery of the heavenly realm, of the spirit realm. So there was a serious contention in the realm of the spirit. There was a spiritual warfare. So two angels were involved. The messenger angel bringing the good news, bringing the testimony, bringing the answers to Daniel needed help. And so another angel was sent. An archangel, Michael was sent, glory to God, to wrestle with pality, to assist the messenger angel in contending, in fighting the battle. This reveals a cosmic battle behind earthly events with angelic beings engaging in a conflict over the affairs of a nation. It blew my mind because some of us, there are powers fighting us. There are powers fighting our breakthroughs. But it's also very encouraging and soothing to know that there are spirits fighting your battles. There are powers contending with the antagonizing power, fighting your miracles. Glory to God. Spiritual warfare. Angelic beings engaged in conflict over the affairs of a nation. 
glory to God. Bible says the messenger informs Daniel that he has come to explain what will happen to his people in the future, implying the vision pertains to the latter days. What will happen to the people of God? Some of you, under the sound of my voice, don't even look like what you have been through, like the battles of life that you have fought. Receive strength to continue to fight the battle. Whatever the battle you are facing, even right now, receive the strength of God. Receive the touch of God in the name of Jesus. No. And know very well that you have the backing of the Spirit. You have the backing of God the Father. You have the backing of God the Son. And you have the backing of the Holy Spirit. You are not alone. You are not alone. Glory to God. You are not alone. At the end of the day, victory is assured. At the end of the day, you would have a testimony. But there are three le things, lessons to learn from this encounter. Number one is that spiritual warfare is real. Anybody who tells you, oh, I am born again, I, I don't face, there will be no battles. There will be no warfare. Is ignorant, it's not spiritually intelligent because the spiritual controls the physical. Glory to God. Spiritual warfare is a reality showing you from this incident that events on earth are influenced by battles in the spiritual realm. But we have to be persistent in prayer. Daniel's three-week period of fasting and prayer shows the importance of persistence and dedication in seeking God. There's no two ways about it. There are battles in life that you cannot win without pr prayers. Some you have to combine prayers and fasting. Jesus said it. This one do not go out except by praying and fasting. So you must engage. You must engage the enemy in the place of prayer. Most battles are won in a place of prayer in the spirit. Glory to God. Three whole weeks this man was praying. Seeking God's face. There is persistency. But his, the answers to his prayer was already released from the first day he started praying. He pleased God to answer him from the first day. But there was a power contending with answers to his prayers. So there was a delay. But delay is not denial. He continued. God is sovereign. His timing is not our timing. Your time zone is not God's time zone. The message was delayed, but not denied. Illustrating that God's answers may be delayed by spiritual opposition, but they're always on time. That baby that God has promised you may be delayed, but it's coming. That contract may be delayed, but it's coming. Your healing may be delayed, but it's coming. Your promotion may be delayed, but it is coming. Glory to God. You must be encouraged. Bible says the angels repeated assurances, reassurances to Daniel, do not be afraid. 
peace, be strong. This emphasizes God's care. This emphasizes the importance of receiving strength from the power source. Hallelujah. Praise God. Receiving power from the power source. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You got to be encouraged. You got to be encouraged. You must be encouraged. Paul says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong. Be encouraged. Don't give up. The messenger kept reassuring Daniel to not be afraid. Reassuring him to be strong. God loves us so much. God loves us so much. There's nobody that encounters God and won't be afraid. So Daniel was having an encounter. Of course, the magnificent uh, uh, being that he was seeing got him scared, got him afraid. The whole spirit realm. He was in a realm. But the angel kept saying, do not be afraid. I, I thought about angels and their roles in the life of a believer. And then, power passes power. The role of angelic beings cannot be overemphasized. There are different hierarchies of angels. But in this scripture, Michael was introduced. Michael, Michael is the archangel. Michael was the angel assigned to Israel, to the people of God, as a protector. Michael the archangel is the protector of the people of God, indicating that he had specific rules and hierarchies of power. Glory to God. There is hierarchies among angelic beings. So the, this battle was a tough one that God had to send the archangel. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You just have to keep on pushing. Just keep on pushing. We are not spiritual mediocres. And so, if you don't take anything out of this, take valuable lessons on prayer, spiritual warfare, divine encouragement. You gotta be encouraged. You got to be strong in the Lord. He says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. So we are reminded that there are unseen battles. We are reminded, glory to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are reminded that there are evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world. Mighty powers in the dark world and principalities in the heavenly places. Glory to God. We must be strong in faith. We must persist in prayer like Daniel. Had he given up from the first day, 
he wouldn't have received answers. Heaven wouldn't have uh, intervened in his case. Glory to God. But at the end of the day, God will come through for you. Despite the demonic delays, delays can never be denial. Just keep pushing. God is the Almighty. He is the Almighty, the controller of the universe. Hallelujah. Keep the faith. Don't stop praying. Glory to the living Jesus. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And the Lord will perfect all that concerns you in the name of the Lord Jesus. You have victory. You have the whole armor of God. Put on that whole armor of God. It is well with you. The Lord bless you. The Lord empower you. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know the battle you're facing even now. But God is away. Glory to God. God is away. You have victory. Receive answers to your prayers in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. And I will uh, come on again. Hallelujah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. It is well with you. Hallelujah. The Lord empower you. The Lord strengthen you. Receive grace. Receive power. Receive anointing. Receive strength to keep pushing forward. Don't give up. It is not over. Until God says it is. Hallelujah. Command angels. By the unction of the Holy Spirit. Messenger angel of help. Angel of good news. Angel of signs and miracles. Angel of favor. Warfare angel. Angel of fire. We engage the services of the angels. Even in our affairs. Angel of protection. Angel of mercy. To begin to walk in our cases. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Lord we thank you. Because every battle we face, we declare that we are winners. We declare that we are victorious. For greater indeed is he that is in us than he that is in the world. We announce to the kingdom of darkness that we are more than conquerors. We announce to the kingdom of darkness that we are light. We carry light. And light shineth in darkness. And darkness comprehends it not. We announce to the kingdom of darkness that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. That we are more than conquerors in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. The Lord empower you. I soak each and every one of you that is sound of my voice with the powerful blood of Jesus. The word says, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. Receive victory. Receive power. Receive grace. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Bye-bye.